Well, my new batch of chicks arrived today, so I thought I'd record the unpacking and moving into their new home process. I've got things pretty well set up here. The corner of the basement, same place I did it last year. I think I did a video on that too. I've got a couple of waterers. Um, I've got 80 chicks this year, so i got two waterers. Uh, two small ones rather than one big one, so if they knock one over, they still have one. Since I'm not home as, as long during the day. Um, got a bowl of water here for dipping their beaks in when I first take them out. That just kind of wakes them up, introduces them to the water. Uh, I've got a thermometer so I can make sure it's warm enough here under the lights once I get them settled in. And this corner I've got down some cardboard. You can kind of see it sticking out over here next to the water. And some pine shavings put on top of that. And I've thrown some, just scattered some feed out in there. I haven't put in a regular feeder yet. I'll just let them peck around on the floor here for the first day. And there's this kind of handy concrete barrier here that should keep them in place for a few days here. Until they get big enough to move out into the rest of the pen. And up here I've got two heat lamps. Again, I like having two just in case one would go out during the day or go out during a cold night and leave them without any heat. Probably need two for 80 chicks anyway, but if one would go out, they'd be able to get under one and at least stay alive. So, let me get started unpacking them here. I believe these were born yesterday in Lebanon, Missouri, which is down in southern Missouri at Cackle Hatchery. And they just ship them by post office. So they got to Quincy today and they called me and I went and picked them up. There's my packing slip. Okay, and here they are. Don't know exactly what's what here. I don't know if these are a particular breed or what these are. Let's see if the box says anywhere on it. Apparently not. Let's see what the shipping thing says. Okay. Well, it says what I have, but it doesn't say how to tell what's what, so I guess I shall find out. Um, I have 10 speckled Sussex pullets, pullets of the girls, 10 Easter egg chickens, the Americanas, and 10 Golden Lace Wyandots. Now the Americanas will kind of all be somewhat different colors, um, just like their eggs. And then I have 50 of the dark Cornish um, cockerels, the boys, that we'll be eating later this year. So maybe I'll be able to tell by the numbers. But. Go ahead and start unpacking them here. Let's grab one. Dip her beak. Dip her beak in the water. And put her out there. Dip her beak. Put her out there. So obviously this is going to take a while to do. 80 of these guys. I'm thinking this top batch is probably all the girls. And this is probably all the, the 30 pullets. And then the bottom box is probably the 50 roosters, the meat birds. But I'll be able to tell better when I open that bottom box. Try not to get them too wet when I do this. I'm trying to just get their beak wet so they recognize the water because this is the first drink or food they've had other than the egg yolk that they were born with. So we're trying to just introduce them to it without actually getting them soaked.
last year I didn't do this, I forgot all about it, and they seem to figure it out on their own okay, but it's supposed to be a good idea, so I'll go to the trouble. You're going to maybe thirsty after a day and being shipped across a couple of states. first box so I'm going to shut this off and go ahead and do the rest and then I'll come back and see how they're doing.